You know, so many times as a health reporter, I always share stories about what many of you have gone through in a health crisis so we could all learn from your stories. As most of you know, I returned to work a week ago after more than a month off recovering from surgery that a lot of women in this country face. Lately, when I'd look at myself in pictures or on television, I started to wonder why my belly was getting bigger. I thought after three kids and growing older, it must be the middle age spread. Turns out, of course, it wasn't. She presented to the emergency room with um, a large mass in her abdomen. I kept feeling nauseous and I was having trouble emptying my bladder. Hey, Carolyn. So I made a call to a doctor I trust, Dr. Shukri David, the chief of cardiology at Providence Hospital, who told me to come in immediately. I ended up in the emergency room. An ultrasound revealed a fibroid tumor about the size of a football, and several smaller ones were on the verge of destroying my kidneys and had to be removed immediately. I want all of you at home who watch me day in and day out to say a little prayer for me. And if you or a friend or a loved one is diagnosed with fibroids, keep an eye on them and talk to your doctor about ultrasounds and whether or not you may need one. So on March 19th, Dr. Nick Chobanian, the director of the Gynecology and Oncology Department of Providence, was ready to perform my surgery. One of his main concerns, cancer, because the fibroid tumor was so large. We will then send the uterus, okay, and make sure there isn't any malignancy in that, that mass, okay? If, if it's malignant and there's any cancer in there, then I will do the lymph nodes that we talked about. I was prepped for surgery with my husband, Greg, one of my daughters and my mom right by my side, and my photographer, John Cellino, who has covered so many health stories right along with me, captured it all. This is going to be a bit of a challenge. This is a big mass that's sitting kind of on those ureter tubes, and it's going to take a little bit for us to get that out. My husband wanted to know how long the surgery would take. Yeah, so anticipate a couple hours. When there's a 10-pound tumor, I don't care what it is. Yeah, I'm a little nervous. The hospital president, Joe Hershey, Dr. David, and the entire staff kept my family in the loop and comfortable while I was in surgery. A lot of women have fibroid tumors. By age 35, nearly 30%. And by 50, almost 80%. But for a fibroid tumor to grow to about 10 pounds, not so common. All right, we're going to take great care of her for you. Once the surgery was over and I was in recovery, Dr. Chobanian gave good news to my family. Basically, her entire pelvis and abdomen were full with this, with this fibroid tumor. Actually, there were multiple, but, but the biggest one was sitting in the back. And so when I sent it off, um, no cancer was seen. So it's been on grateful to the entire staff at Providence, thankful for a loving family, and happy to return to the job I love. Thank you. Appreciate it. You know, recovery normally takes three to six weeks, and I feel pretty good tonight at five weeks. But here's my takeaway from all of this. Be your own health advocate. You've heard me say that many times before. If you have fibroids, make sure your doctor keeps an eye on them. And see a doctor if you have pelvic pain, pel painful periods, and difficulty emptying your bladder, as I did. And a lot of women certainly have uh, fibroids, but I had no idea, like I said, that it was growing the inside size, of me that large. The size and the potential for problems that you narrowly averted. I mean, how lucky you are. I, I was very lucky that Dr. David said come in right away, and yeah. I didn't ignore it. So, uh, like I said, be your own health advocate. And make well, we're sure glad you you're back. Yes. We're surprised you're back as quickly as you... <laughs> me too. But... <laughs> You're feeling great, and that's what's most important. That is what's, what's most important. And having you back, that's pretty important, too. Thank you. I appreciate yeah, that. Absolutely.